yes. Okay, so, so Uchi, so yeah. Monday, sorry. Um, can we go back one slide, please? Yes. So at this point, I have a question about this Hachimeru or Hachimeta. Hi. Uh, in my mind, since we're using ga, ishi ga, I thought that shouldn't it be Hachimata, as in Hachimaru? Why is Hachimeru? Hmm. Or is it because we made a compound, uh, made a compound verb out of it that it? It's probably I... because it's made out of compound verb. I think Hajimaru um is not conjugated like Hajimeta is. That is kind of right interesting. But do you, you get my that. question? Yes, though? I'm talking about the transitive versus intransitive nature of this particular verb. Yeah, that's interesting. In... Now you're pointing that out. Okay, but if if this is how they do it, then this is how they do it. I I, I just thought there's some some logic here that I missed. That's all. Sadly, I don't think there is. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that's, Next slide. that's weird. Now that you pointed that out. Oh. Um. So uh, is 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 the beginner curiosity? He's questioning everything. Oh, questions. And, yeah. and if you ask like a Japanese speaker, they'll also be like, oh. Uh. Don't worry uh, about it. <laughs> move on. <laughs> move on. <laughs> um, so uchi. Uchi has many meanings. One of the common meanings of uchi is a type of time phrase. Time phrase. Um, it kind of means during. Um, the difference with uchi is that normally the thing that's gonna fall, like the thing that's happening during the action, so during A, is normally either going to start here or end here. So normally, uh, so some other time phrases, the idea is kind of like these two things are kind of happening at the exact same time, like like A is happening and B is happening, right? But with Uchi, it's more like A is happening and then B kind of pops in here, either ending here, starting there, or maybe like a little random thing in the middle. So so other ones might be like these two are like neck and neck kind of line a action a and action b does that kind of make sense so if i can rephrase this are are we saying that nagara Hi. is trying to describe two things are happening in parallel yeah together at the same time yes whereas uchi ni is saying they just happen to happen at this time well, this kind, happened. Kind of. Uh, but 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 specifically I'm saying that um the second line, it's it's not continuing the whole time necessarily that um this thing was happening. So either A started first and then this started to happen and end, or perhaps like it just kind of the two times are at different um periods. Uh for example, Miteru uchi ni. So this is, while I was watching him, the magician made something, was starting to make something disappear. So it kind of has like the, this action was beginning while I was staring at him. Uh, also with Uchi, the most important information is the second information. This is like the focus of the sentence it was over here. So this is more important than what's over here. Um, can you do me a favor and read the sentence for me? Hai, doka o nusunde iru uchi ni machutsushi wa shinda. It's saying that the uh, the, the 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 magician master uh die during the time when the coins got stolen. Yes. That is what it's saying. So it's it's not saying the whole entire time he was stealing the coins that the guy was like dot like in the process of like doing the dead the whole time, right? So it's kind of just one little boop. Guy died. Happened during this time. Yes. So he had a heart attack so, while so. he was being robbed. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. So what does this say? It say chito miteru uchi ni. Wow, staring fixatedly. Um, Madoseki wa 
Kagaki Hachimeta. Uh, the magician, the no, the magical stone sparkle. The magical stone begin to sparkle while staring fixedly. Yes. Uh, something okay. like that. So basically, he stared at it first, and it was black, and then it began to shining while he was staring at it, like oh. Okay, Hi. now we're time for our kanji check. How's this guy pronounce? This guy, it's Shinzo. Shinzo, hi. And this guy? Yes, this koitsu. This koitsu is um, <laughs> Makao, <laughs> Makao, Mukao, Makao. Mukao, nice. Mukao. Moo. <laughs> uh, next, next is this guy. <laughs> um, This guy. Kagaki uh, Hachimeta. Yep. The stone begins to shine. Oh. Uh, do you know how this kanji is pronounced? Hai. It's hikari. Or hika. Uh, you'd have something else here if you're just doing the hika reading. Uh, but yeah, hikari Hai. light. Um, could you read this for me? Akai hikari. What does this Red mean? Light. Yes, perfect. Um, so how would so um how to say the magical stone shines in red light way? In the red light way. Hi. Oh. Wait a minute. This is a a kai hikari is a noun. Yes, so you kind of want to turn it into an adverb. Ah, madoseki ga akai hikari to. Good guess. So it can be that, um, definitely. But it in this context, ni is more like we're saying because it's more like the way in which it shines. Um, to would be more like both things are happening at once. So it's shining and it's a red light versus a shining in a red light kind of way. So okay, so is our context. The point here is that when we see ni, it is often describing the verb of the sentence. Yes. The it's verb just... is behaving in a certain way for a certain purpose, towards a certain right. target in a particular way. Yes. Right? Got it. Um, do you know what honoka means? It is a na adjective. Hono, hono as in fire? It does look like the word for fire. But that's actually hono, hono, like that. Hono ka, hono, or is it hono as in what? Or uh, direction? Not what either. Or... So honoka means like slight, light or small S amount. I... Very tiny, honoka. Yeah, hono. hono very similar. Hono, so hono kana. It's a na adjective. Um, hono can you read this sentence for me? Hono kana hikari datta. Hi. What does this mean? Oh my brain! I forgot hono ka again. This is like is slight. Slight, slight. Oh, slight amount. Slight. It's slightly um, a small amount of light. Yes. So a lot of times in English, we would probably kind of... say like a weak like is because we're kind of weird, like a yowakata. <laughs> so honokana is what uh, they use here, but it's like a very small amount of light. Um. So our next a word. Small amount of light is a noun and it's um dan uh ro. dan ro. dan ro. Ro means fireplace and i, I decided... think i saw this yeah sorry <laughs> interrupting you i think i saw this ro in final fantasy 7 i believe you <laughs> i have no idea what it means on its own but it has fire in it <laughs> and door fire. fire door um what is that dan Hmm. Looks so weirdly familiar. Um, but anyway, 
fireplace this is one of the kanji i am going to make you learn um because it shows up a lot in this book because khan likes fireplaces so this right here we're first looking at the dan <clears throat> character for dando um since you're wondering dan apparently can mean warmth so it must show up in the word for atakai it's mean warmth yes so atatakai was a word we learned in the past you share kanji oh or you know atatakai Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Atatakai is in Danro. Makes sense. So it's a fire door that is warm. Got it. Makes sense. Ah. <laughs> yes, a fireplace. <laughs> oh. Danro. Hi. Can you do me a favor and read the sentence for me? Danro wa atatakai. Oh my goodness. It's right there in front of me. <laughs> I didn't notice it when I made this either. <laughs> it's not the same kanji. So it's like, oh. Why do I even have to ask? <laughs> there. Okay, got it. Yes, the fireplace is warm. Hi. And now we have a new kanji. Do you happen to know this guy? Yes, I've seen this many times. It's like the most of something at the yes. very beginning. It is. So right here is the very beginning. Yep, this is Saisho. Sai sai show. Show. As in side yeah. goal, as in the very end. Yep, the opposite Something of side goal. Side goal no is sai show. Um, sai show. Can you do me a favor and read this for me? Sai show wa atatakai no ni. What do you think Even this is though yep. it was warm at the beginning. Even though it was warm in the beginning. So it's insinuating it's cold now, right? Oh, oh, there's that, in, there's that, that, um, <laughs> that kind of a uh, feeling of like, it's it's a negative thing. Yeah, it's, it's a little no bit name. like like complaining right here. If you right, end with complain. no knee, even though it was warm in the beginning. In the um, now cold. So atak atatakai was an adjective. Atatakami is a noun. So atatakami means warmth. Hmm. Um, so this is a, a silly sentence I made that is like, why would anybody ever say this? But can you read it for me? Danro no atatakami wa atatakai. The warmth of the fireplace Atata... was warm. The warmth of the fireplace <laughs> was warm. So... <laughs> That's I really wonder if that kami is sort of like another noun of some sort, and they kind of attach uh, it to this noun. It, it, this uh, I'm pretty sure activity. it's it's a kind of thing that has to do with me being added here. I feel like I've seen me added to other adjectives sometimes to make nouns. Uh, hmm. But I, I don't know it on top of my head. I think it's like similar to sa, which is something else you can add to e-verbs and make um into. This word here becomes nest kind of. So if you said atat atatakasa means like the warmth level, like it's the measurement, like okisa is like size, like how big is it? Um, right. So I, I feel like the ni, the b right here is what that is, but I cannot remember what it is. But the, that, that's okay. why. That's what I remember. Um, How's okay. this guy back here pronounced? Ro. Yes, dan ro no ro. Okay, so this is from a earlier page. Do you remember what yona means? Like, um, dorobo no fukuro no naka no yona, makura na yoru. Yona, yona as in, um, metaphorically speaking, right? Yes. So this is, um, a night as dark it's as dark the inside as... of. The bag that belongs to bag a thief. To thief. Right. Yep. So yo na na. It I just have, gets uh, attached to like a nounish. Yeah. So Mane, this is a silly story, but I was thinking about Dorobo the other right. day. And I remember when I was little, Mane I watched this Chinese, this Chinese uh ish kind of series. Ooh. And I come to think that because in in those series they had these clans of beggars. These beggars mm -hmm. are organized into clans, right? And 
they they sometimes they are beggars on the street but because of the fact that they are organized and they are so diverse they end up being spies assassins and uh, and and thieves as well and so the very the very the the way these these beggars work is they always have a stick and oh. the head of the clan had a special stick <laughs> well that's a stick so part, i'm right? guessing this come this come from those this came from the Chinese notions of <laughs> thieves being like <laughs> stick people. <laughs> you know, that, that would be I a think. logical conclusion that makes sense. Kanji is from China. Uh, the other possibility is that they kind of were like, okay, th we decided this is pronounced as boho. And they like, like kind of stuck things that kind of work together. <laughs> like muddy stick. That's close enough. Right. But who knows? Right. Yeah, that's it could just like be a, like a similar sound. So, so. And had nothing to do with meaning. Must have a little bit to do. Um, but yeah. How is this pronounced? <laughs> one, 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 one second. Sorry. Um, this is uh, Dan Ro. Perfect. Dan Ro. And our next word is Sumibi. So we have the kanji for fire. And sumi, which is like soot. And together sumi. it means um charcoal fire fi fire. Charcoal fire. So fire made from charcoal. Sumi be. Oh, like in how? How's moving castle, yeah. Susu su yes. susumi wa wari, something like that. That is the soot sumi sprite. Be. Sumi be. Um, right. So yeah, let's go read this sentence. Yes, Danro no sumibi no yona atatakami. What does this mean? It's warm, the warm that's like the ember ash of a fireplace. Yeah, nice. It's like the fire of a fireplace is basically what it's saying, but they're just being very Pacific. <laughs> Charcoal fire. Um, You know this guy, so I'm skipping that. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> yep. So right here, um, how would you say a magical stone that has warmth? Or what do you fill in here? That's good. The stone had warmth. You have it. Aru. But this is a noun. Yeah. So this is a magical so stone. So it possess. Uh, this, this to exist on so the magical all. stone. That's a good guess. However, adu as a verb to exist never takes all. Never. So instead it gets uh, all. <laughs> it's got au revoir. Right. Yep. So it's kind of like saying <sighs> warmth exists in the magical stone rather than saying the magical stone was like, I'm going to be warm today. Is, is kind of what it's insinuating. Right. Adu is intransitive. Yeah. It's, it's just itself. It exists. It's just I exist. It exists. Soul, soul. Hi. Um, can you do me a favor and read this for me? Sai sho wa doka dake nusunda. Hi. So dake means only. So what do you think this is saying? It's saying at first, only the coin was stolen. Perfect. Yes. And can you read this for me? Atatakami no aru akai hikari. What does this mean? It say the red fire or no the red light. Um, having warmth. Yes, the red light so has warmth. Having warmth. The yes. warm having red light. <laughs> yeah. Um. So next is our line from the book, and this will be our last line of the day. I wa danro no sumibi no yona atatakami no aru hono kana akai hikari datta hono kana meaning a little bit height just a little bit so weak red light it was Okay. So, uh, atatakami no aru. 
having the quality of having warmth, you're not meaning in that way as okay. So, uh, at first, um, the red light was weakly warm as the fire as the ash of a fireplace. Hey, so so maybe it's a charcoal fire, not ash. That would be a different word we'd use to refer to sash. So sumi does mean soot. And then um, the B is flame. So it's a soot flame, but it's just saying it's a flame. It's a fire that came from something that makes soot. Uh, so you can really just say it's the flame of a fireplace. It was warm like the flames of a fireplace. Hi. Hi. Perfect. Yep. And we have data here because past tense. Uh, it is no longer whatever he just described here in the next sentence. It'll be something different. The totem suddenly. <laughs> um, so that is where we'll be stopping for the day. Um, any questions before we go? Uh, no questions. Sorry, my 